The braising season is upon us and we have four different cuts of asabuco. Asabuco translates to bone with a hole and as you can see here the four different animal proteins I have all have that beautiful marrow bone uh, center cut and uh, cross section for easy braising. Alright so my four proteins start with a veal shank asabuco. As you can see here that cross cut section. So besides the traditional veal asabuco we feature three other cuts. One popular one is our Angus Reserve Beef Asabuco. As you can see, it's the shank section, the beautiful marrow bone. We also tie Something that. unique here is the hind shank of a lamb Asabuco. So we take the bottom of that shank and give it a cross section cut to give a eight to nine ounce average. Lastly, we have a pork Asabuco. Same idea with that cross cut section, the beautiful marrow bone in there. But this is probably the best value on the board. Easy braise. Both sections very, very heavy. And so meat. the technique of cooking these four proteins is all the same. It's a braising method. So you're going to add a sear, then a liquid soft heat, and slow cook it till that meat falls off the bone until it's tender. I'm going to use the beef here because it's something a little bit different and exclusive here to Northern Hazrat and the Angus Reserve. So this 14 to 16 ounce piece, I'm going to lightly dredge in flour. And over on my stove, I have a heavy bottom pan heating up. I'm going to add some oil and br uh, brown on both sides. All right. As my meat is browning off on both sides, I have pre-prepared uh, some different ingredients to go into that braising mix. The classic is your mirepoix vegetables, consist of an onion, celery, and carrot. So I have did a fine dice on there that will go into the pan after my meat comes out. Also some other products, your traditional bouquet garni, some peppercorn, bay leaf, rosemary, and thyme. And then my liquid portion will go through the process. We're going to deglaze with your choice of spirit. Generally I like a deep rich red wine. However, depending on the protein you use, you can use a white or different types of uh, fruit juices or whatnot uh, to use as your deglazing liquid. Then we'll fortify that with some tomato paste and finish that with a rich veal stock and that will slow cook down about two plus hours at 325 degrees. All right, so now, now that my meat is browned, I'm gonna remove that and set that aside. Okay, in that same pan, I'm gonna reduce the heat and I'm gonna start with my mirepoix of vegetables. Okay, I'm gonna add my cipollini onions in here just to start to get a little color as well. I'll let those go for a couple more minutes and then I'm going to add my tomato paste. Alright, now that my onions have a little color, I'm going to hit it with some tomato paste and let that render down and pick up some of that uh, caramelization and a little bit of that flavor from the sugar of the tomatoes. And scrape and kind of deglaze all those extra uh, caramelization coming off of my vegetables. This is my red wine. I'm going to deglaze the bottom of this pan. Allow that to reduce down um, probably 80%. Okay, so my wine reduction is, is almost finished. So I'm gonna put my beef back in and then add my veal stock just to cover the beef. I'll let that come back up to a simmer. And then what I'll do is I will add my bouquet garni in there. All right, so in the oven. Slow braise, 325 degrees. Check it in about two hours. All right, so my Angus Reserve Beef Asabuco has cooked thoroughly. You gotta be careful getting it out so it doesn't fall apart, okay, because it's gonna wanna pull right off of that bone. As you can see there, it's braised beautifully. I did remove the string, so I wanna make sure of that. Make sure you remove that little string that ties and keeps that meat in place. Then what I'm gonna do is find my Cipollini onions. All right, we'll put several on the plate there. Okay, I have some fresh mashed Yukon gold potatoes. I'm gonna pipe right next to that. Okay, then I'm gonna strain some of these uh, beautiful mirepoix vegetables. All right, just a plate over the side. Okay, then I'm gonna finish that 
with some of my natural pan reduction. It'll go all around. Okay. Clean up my plate. A little garnish right in that marrow. Also suggested serving a small spoon or even perhaps a straw so they can extract the marrow out of that bone. It's a great delicacy and part of that dish. So there you have it, a Brave Beef, beef Angus Reserve Asabuco, Cipollini onions, and Yukon Gold Mashed Potatoes. Enjoy. <laughs>